Um, for the game, just practice. Um, I, we were watching the system, how they uh, execute first half. And uh, obviously we have limited players because Fakri is not here. Uh, so uh, yes, and uh, Badri, Fami not here. Uh, Iswan was injured, and uh, Fokido uh, had a slight hamstring issue. So it was great opportunity to play the young players. I think we've learned a lot from this game. Um, if you look at the young Rosemi, for he's a good prospect for the future for the club. Famiro. Uh, did well today. Um, but they need guidance. They are young players, and uh, I think if the senior players play together with the young players, they'll be okay. Uh, the most important thing for me was that the back four uh, was there, and uh, they did okay. Um, so we'll take that on board, and then hopefully go forward. I think Shakyali has been. Uh, has had a long-term injury and now I have had many discussions with Shakir to try and rediscover his form and uh, I think the training has been benefit to him. Good pre-season we've had in terms of preparation, everyday training and today he took his goal very, very well. It's another uh, option to have as coach, um, especially as you saw, with, if Fokido is not here and Fakri is not fit, it's always good to have uh, Shakir. And I was very pleased with his performance. Because, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's why you use uh, Shakir, uh, Tony and Parishan in the team negotiation. Yeah. yeah, because I wanted to see the back four, um, how, how they cope. We haven't played many friendly games because we've been working very hard behind closed doors, tactically, technically, how we can defend better. And uh, also, we looked at other players in, in other positions. It's great because now we started with Azim, Allah, Farizam and Zairo, but Fitri can play there, also left, left back. So we have competitions now everywhere, uh, which is great. Uh, Kichi was fantastic, Zaharo. Uh, Fitri Omar did very well to come back, took his goal very well. And um, yeah, overall, I'm okay. I am pleased. Uh, as you can see, last time when we played Tanganu here, and all our senior, three senior players left half time and the team crumbled. But now it was the other way around. Now we started with a lot of young players, and uh, they did well. It's good to see Shakir because before, until today, a lot of people have been telling me, yeah, Shakir scored a lot of goals, but I, I couldn't see how. Um, but now it's good to see him play 90 minutes. You can watch his overall play. Um, and he's, he's a threat because of his size. Uh, there are not many big Malaysian strikers. And the way he's, his size, his height, it's a, it's a big plus for us. A lot of Malaysian strikers are all one, 170, 175. Shakir has got big presence, and uh, it's great to see him rediscover his form tonight. So I think about the fitness, about the fitness for the players. Yeah, don't think that because we didn't play a lot of friendly games that uh, the players' fitness is lacking. <laughs> They've been working very hard. Uh, even there were days where we trained in the afternoon and it was really hard for them because of the faster month. But every single one put the work in and they trained very, very well. I'm not so concerned with the fitness um, of the players. Uh, you know, it's more important how we can defend as a team because the bigger picture is JDT is waiting for us. And uh, I told the players also, don't look too much of the result, but as team and as coach, we don't like losing. So it's great that they went up and still managed to score a goal, which was uh, good to see. But no, our focus was more on the defensive unit. Amar played today, he hasn't played since I played him against Felda. So he also carrying a little injury on his hamstring. So we did not want to push him too much. Um, Brendan Gunn is on his way back. And uh, hopefully 
um, he will be fit to play Kedah. Yeah, the uh, Tego don't read too much about the press. What the, I don't know who is publishing all stories. It's very simple, as I said to you last week when I spoke to you. Um, he's not back, and I don't know when he's coming back. And all I can say is I did not give permission for him to stay away this long. So I can sit here and tell you every story, but there is no story, simply because even me as head coach don't know where he is and why he's not here. Uh, Mohamed Shoki, different story. Mohamed Shoki have a serious family issue and uh, we are hoping that he can resolve it very soon. And uh, he's training for himself also uh, whilst he's sorting out his family issue. So I don't think that Mohamed Shoki would be a problem uh, when he comes back. But we would like to have him, obviously, as soon as possible. Look, there is always, uh, as coach, nothing goes in front of football when it comes to family matters. So we, it's very frustrating for us. But all we can do is be patient in terms of Shoki. And uh, hopefully he'll be back sooner than, than rather later. Apart from that, I think that uh, the new players we have today, they came just to train as a trial and uh, they're just gaining experience and we just uh, try to help them in terms of their development because we are short of players. Uh, we have three internationals away, Israel was injured for Kido, so they came quite handy to help us. As you saw, I think Terengganu had 19 players, we only had 14, so <laughs> it's quite helpful that they are here and uh, they uh, are good guys. Uh, Kwame is the striker, and uh, Emmanuel was the central defensive midfielder. They're both Ghanaian guys, and and uh, they're just here to see. It's good for their experience to play. And uh, for the club point of view, it's good because they're making up the numbers for us.